week is definitely winding down, and that means we're getting much closer to the holidays. Yes, indeed. While that's happening, you're also getting much closer to your next birthday. That means you're getting old. Wow. Just trying to keep you, you know, so you in need balance. That much <laughs> in any case, happy hour comes early every single time here on Wake Up Nigeria, and you are welcome. Because it's never too early to have fun, and that's why we always encourage that you tune in and start your day with us right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Absolutely, every single day. Now, we always end the week with fireworks, pizzazz, really? and oh, colors, and really? everything. So today's not going to be any different. The merrier you are, the better you start the weekend with. Definitely. And it's December. And we all know December brings lots of excitement, fun, and rugs and runway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what she did there. Not bad. We'll be talking about that because she's got this entire thing planned out for yeah, December. And it's going to be grand. You guys, <laughs> hey, it's going to be magic. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. You are welcome. But before then, we have this day to celebrate and to make good good use of but hey first you should see what we have in the kitchen he's yeah. five foot five he's wow. bearded and wow yeah he's uh wow other, other, other other wa otashi <laughs> <no name wa mai. laughs> mr mike now you have been enthralled by the entire world cup thing mm -hmm. magic Every no, single morning here, it's like as if you and everybody from behind the camera, it's all about sports. We're tired Ohio, of this. We need Ohio. you to stop. No, Nichiwa, Kiwa, Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good morning, yeah. But yeah, it's all about uh, the Japanese today. I mean, that's why I am repping today. I'll talk to you about this. But hey, come on. It's going to be a wonderful Friday. I'm looking forward. We have uh, two special guests in the kitchen this morning. So you want to watch out for that one. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Definitely. Looking forward. Sure, sure, sure. Definitely, it's been a beautiful week so far, and we are definitely about to set the tone for the weekend. My name is Winfrey Abulishri. And my name is... Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, what happened? I thought there was three of those names. Wow. Well, now it's a... Welcome. My name is Mazino Appeal. <laughs> and it still is. Stream the show live at TVC Entertainment.tv and also on Facebook at TVC Connect. Follow us on social media across all platforms at TVC Connect and share your opinion with us. We like to read them as comments, okay? Thank you very much. Use the hashtag, by the way, I forgot. It's Wake Up Nigeria. It's Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. Yes, of course. And make sure you download the TVC app on both the Android and iOS stores to get us on the go anywhere you are in part of the world. Also, watch us live on Girls TV Channel 27 and or UHF Channel 49. All right. yeah. yeah. In any case, we want to kick things off today by letting you know that coming up is going to be very, very exciting inside Movie Gist as we have yeah. two series and a movie to talk about. So mm -hmm. you guys watch out. You're going to find this one very interesting because the, the, the ladies won't let us rest about this series and I really find it very annoying, but we'll talk movies after. Have you? It's going to be a fun one inside of Wake Up Nigeria today. You guys are welcome. The kitchen is also going to be grand. Yeah, we have two special guests in the kitchen. We have Miyonte and Ofada Boy. Oh. They'll be here with us. Uh, nice. You know when our combination is here. It's a boom. It's, it's family, you it's know. Boom so we'll get, yeah, It's Christmas now. It's December, so we're guessing the... We're getting to the group, yeah. We're getting into the group for December. Jolly. So, yeah. Right. wanted to talk about something Okay. Here. So, we all love Will Smith. I love Will Smith. I'm oh. sorry I have to talk about this yet. But we love this guy. And uh, mm. earlier on in the year, he managed to surprise every single person. But what? he made his first appearance since after everything on um, The Daily Show Daily with show. Trevor Noah. Mm. And I, I was happy to see uh, him um, and also have Trevor Noah talk to him about the instance at the Oscars. Okay. With such maturity, first of all, by Trevor Noah, I want to say that that guy is an exemplary interviewer he's yeah. so good how did he do it how did he do it he was uh, so mature he started with the well the, the 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 easy part first and then went into the cases from emanating from the oscars um but it was the way he tried his best and succeeded to humanize will smith mm. and we know that everything might have been off and you might have been going through stuff and that was perhaps what happened yeah. and by a long shot i think he managed to make us forgive Will Smith. I'm not saying that I've absolutely forgiven him. Okay. Forgive Will Smith for everything okay. he done, he, he's done against the black race inside of Hollywood and mm. all the effort that everybody has been putting in. I don't know, but I think his movie Emancipation is something that will decide whether he's going to tank absolutely you see, yeah, or but that's whether the thing. he's redeemable. The ema Emancipation <laughs> is talking about um, subjugation of, yeah. of the black mm -hmm, race. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you understand. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's like, dude, if you were really <sighs> emancipated, you should yeah. have... I don't know if you get what I'm yeah, trying to say. I don't know I if this do. is the best movie at yeah. this time. But there's something he said. He said, if people don't watch the movie because of what happened, he understands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think he will take some time. Because even me, when I see him now, there's not that... Uh, I'm not 
that enamored as much exactly. as I used to be. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I was like, okay, dude, dude, mm. okay, but let's see. But I might not be so mm -hmm. because I really don't. I, I, I hate watching black slave movies. Mm -hmm. I really wow. do hate uh -huh. watching black well, slave I, movies. I don't know. Do you? Wouldn't free? Uh, didn't you I like 12 years of slave? Didn't, didn't you like Django? I didn't, I didn't, I didn't uh, hate cool. it. I, didn't, I don't hate it. I actually look forward to them, to be okay, very honest. Because I actually want right. to see from different points of views where they actually come and um, tell the stories from. Okay. And uh, for this particular one, to be honest, I'm actually looking forward to it. And the truth is, yeah. I mean, he spoke about how he believed the slap came from, like, pent-up um, emotions, em emotions and, and anger from over the years. And the truth is, oh, he's only human. We've done things we're not proud of. And mm -hmm. hanging is over his neck, like... No, no, hanging is. Seriously, and I feel people have different ways of expressing themselves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fine, violence should never be one of it. But then again, he's apologized. But you could he's have done it, you done it behind I understand that. That's that. my own. People have done worse. I feel uh, he had them. He was at the <laughs> point where In any case, felt, doing it behind the set or in front of the set. <laughs> his, children, exactly. his wife does not care. That's how <laughs> no, I that's know. What what said, I have come up now. <laughs> but tell you what, what else we can do today. Let's give you the weather so you can decide whether you're going out with an umbrella. Welcome back. It's the Watch and Wake Up Niger. My name is Winfrey Agbalishi and it's time for the news. The presidential candidate of the APC, Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu, has promised to make life better for the people of Bayelsa if they vote for him. He made the promise during the party's presidential rally in Yanagua, the state capital. Ola Awakon reports. APC presidential candidate has taken his campaign to Bayelsa. Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu arrives in Yanagua, the state's capital, with his entourage and is well received by chieftains of the party in the state. His first visit was to the palace of the chairman, Bayesa State Traditional Rulers Council, and Ibinanawe of Ikwetiama Kingdom, King Bubaraye Dakol. The monarch appealed to Ashiwaju Tinubu to look into the areas of infrastructure development, help find lasting solution to the flood issue and other challenges confronting the state when he becomes president of Nigeria. We need the federal government to build in Bayelsa what we call the three territorial roads. These roads will connect to Brass in the east territorial district, to Ukubie and Kolama in the central, and Age in the western territorial district of Bayelsa State. Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu assured the traditional rulers that he will address all the issues presented before him if they vote for him and make APC the governing party in the state. I am the best candidate. <laughs> and I have preferences here that I can talk to. You don't try the APC. Maybe before you complain you have let me from me. Change in your identity. Change to APC. The APC presidential candidate moved with members of the campaign council to the venue of the rally where thousands of supporters were waiting to hear from the Jagaban of Bogu. If it is true that I should have to follow our man, you know, move it on next for us. Then he desires our vote. We can say, after the eight years of our presidential candidates in Lagos, he left Lagos with an extraordinary legacy. He will be the best president and commander in chief of the Nigerian Armed Forces. When it was time for Ashiwaju Tinubu to speak, he assured the people of the state that he will create jobs for the youth and ensure positive transformation that will lead to all-round development in the state of Bayesa. We will be able to create thousands of jobs. Where we are, one of the most industrious, one of the best, most best, with mineral resources, of this country. Ashiwaju Bola Tinubu stressed the need for them to use their PVCs wisely to vote for him at the polls next year for the party to be able to fulfill the promise of a renewed hope for the people of Bayesa. Ola Awakon, TVC News, Yenagua.
And on the foreign scene, China has signaled the shifts in its COVID stance as it moves to ease some virus restrictions despite high daily cases numbers. Dozens of districts in Shanghai and Guangzhou, cities that have been rising cases, were released from lockdown measures on Thursday. The country's vice premier also announced that the country was facing a new situation. It comes as China is seeing mass protests against a zero COVID policy. The unrest was triggered by a fire in a high-rise block in the western Xinjiang region that killed 10 people last week. Many Chine Chinese believe long-running COVID restrictions in the city contributed to the deaths, although the authorities deny this. It led to days of widespread protest across various cities, which have seen ebbed amid a heavy police presence. All right, that's sorted. Let's do the papers. The headlines for this morning, it's a Friday, of course, it's the 2nd of December. What are you going to find when you pick up a copy of the Punch newspaper? This is what meets you. Federal allocations, oil-producing states borrow 1.3 trillion naira amid 6.4 trillion naira windfall. Pandef others ask Niger of the governors to showcase development projects. Oil-producing states receive 1.9 trillion naira as derivative fund under Buhari says the minister and 13 percent derivative includes des uh, padek funds money judiciously judiciously spent says delta state at the top of the punch newspaper uh, paper governors stealing lg funds says buhari n-u-l-g-e backs president and politicians behind attack on INEC facilities says jika we're going to move on now to the news direct this morning and front and center 2023 budget lcci knocks FG on proposed 10.57 trillion naira loan and of course says debt service engulfed 664.73 billion naira in second quarter 2022 warns of job loss with high diesel price poor power supply and i think we're already seeing some of that afri invest asset management gets a3 rating for gcr augusta and co assigns a and also at the uh, very bottom senator bassi jailed 42 years for money laundering, plenty of that kind of information hitting us lately. Moving on now to, uh, let's see what uh, daily we have this morning. Of course, the nation, inside of the nation this morning, federal government, we support states with 5.03 trillion naira in seven years, and Nigeria not broke, not defa defaulting in debt repayment. We are trying to reduce poverty, says states. At the very top, court orders arrest of chief of army staff commandant and tribunal rejects at Delhi case YAC GCE certificate. Well, it's happening. <laughs> Plenty inside of the dailies this morning. Tell you what, why don't you maybe pick one or two of these topics and send us a message. We'd we'll like to read them, what you think about them. Use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria on TVC. We'll be right back. You're welcome. And wait, it's not the movies we're doing. It's yeah, What's Up and About. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I almost said it was a movie. <laughs> hey, hi, MM. Welcome. Thank you. So we were talking about this from before, MM, yeah. and also Winfrey. <laughs> Michael also told you about this. But it's very interesting. The Minister of Education only just, I think, a day or two ago mm -hmm. <coughs> announced that it was okay and that Nigeria was capable and allowed to now start using mother tongue as, um, what was that again, mother tongue as a first language or means of instructions in mm -hmm. schools, mm -hmm. in primary, in primary schools. schools. Compulsorily, actually. Compulsorily, yes. Yeah. Um, noted that, uh, yes, it might begin now, but however, it will be, uh, what's the word, enforced, I think that's... Over time. Just, over time, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that's the stronger word. Um, he also noted that the first language, that's the mother tongue language, would be one that is predominantly spoken in, in, the, area. The, area. in the area. In the area. Yeah. I don't know what you guys think about it. I've I got so it, many it, reservations. It, I saw it, I was just, I was, I was angry because, you know, just like when we had someone come say that we would start exporting pencils in 2025, it seemed like somebody just stands up and maybe wants to justify the salary or the, the, the allocations you've been getting and mm. you, <laughs> for sake of being civil, spew a lot of See. crap like how how nice we've heard this we've heard this many many times and i've heard it at different being relayed in different times mm. and i think this is the best time to talk about it here first of all you want to teach in vernacular mm -hmm. were they raised in that language mm -hmm. that's number one because you are going to teach what that means is that you're going to teach them chemistry for in instance vernacular. in yoruba yeah 
You're going to teach them physics in Yoruba. Mm -hmm. You're going to teach calculus mm -hmm. in Yoruba. And that has been, you see, that, it, that has always been the problem of Africa as a whole. Mm. Go to Russia, go to China, Japan. They teach them, you can learn medicine in, there, in Mandarin. Mm -hmm. You learn in Russia. Do you understand? But the only thing that we have here that is translated that you can learn in your language is the Bible. No, ooh, I never looked at it that way, Mike. Even I never, I never looked at it do, that do, way. Did you ever, did you ever um, do this textbook? Or say your uh, Babio? Chemistry yeah, textbook. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, the worst. Even PNO KK. The worst. PNO KK, we, do we have PNO KK in Ibo? God. Ibo. And he's at Ibo. First of all, I want to say that those names bring trauma. <laughs> no, of course. <laughs> I used to have a friend. I used to have a friend who had two Ababios, and they used to use the two in case one had. Which one was that for the maths one? <laughs> for the for the maths, uh, for oh, the God. Right. Right. You know, there were different ones for the maths. Well, at least we had PNOKK and Ababio. Ababio, yeah. Ababio, Ababio, it, Ababio is Ghanaian. We, we, we knew how... Well, do we have that in... What's your language? And even in English, it was tough. In it was tough in English. Now, that's my point. So, and which is why I've always wondered about this translation. We have the Bible so translated in so many... My point is this. How do you start something <coughs> like this? We, listen, let's let the ladies speak. Okay. Emma, what, what are your thoughts? <sighs> hmm. I'm still trying to gather my thoughts. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, what I have to say about this is, fine, I, we're looking at this very literally, right? I think we should look at the spirit of it, right? So, yeah, fine. We, we, let's, the truth is, so everything starts from somewhere. I feel the spirit, fine, we might not have the, they might not have the theories the of... Of, of, of execution mm -hmm. right, right now. But I feel the spirit of it is preserving culture mm -hmm. and preserving our heritage, our mother tongue. And I'm saying this because back in school, I can remember, we were actually forbidding from speaking any other language. And the languages in Nigerian um, language being spoken in school was termed vernacular, yeah. which is actually very wrong. So I'm looking beyond the application of it and the, it coming to life to the spirit behind it, which is actually to preserve our cultural heritage, okay, preserve so our mother tongue talking, and all of that. Saying, and I'm totally for that. Um, totally for it. So I get the preservation of a culture, history, heritage, tradition, but are they going to pres be um, preserving my culture? Yeah, what's your culture? That's my Again, daughter's us. culture or my husband's culture. Aha. So, for example, you have two. Two. Uh, my Merging husband families, is yeah. yeah my husband is Bedouin. Families. Multicultural families. You have my husband who's Igede, and I'm Ibibu. So, which of our cultures are they going to be pre preserving or teaching them? Their, mm -hmm. who, who's, which whose language between the both of us are they going to be teaching? To answer that from? question, schools, right? Yeah. So, to yeah. answer that question directly, right? I'll say fine. We decided to leave our villages and move to Lagos. It's not their fault that your Yoruba is the language spoken in Lagos. So maybe that will now help us start probably going back to where we're from to now have our cultures imbibed the way we want the it to be imbibed. If we're products. actually not going to take so, the direct no, exactly. responsibility it's not feasible of teaching. Because because it is visible the, now. The implications okay. are Either you teach your kids multiple. from the house. The implications are more. Or you send them back to the village. Um, you have economical implications. You have uh, uh, cultural implications. You have far-reaching implications. But First of, as the families who have moved to these different places, you have 250, 250 languages in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I just think that there is a concern for infusing cultural sentiments or traditional sentiments, thereby bringing in tribalism. Why should I be learning so and so language when I am from so But then again, you think about it culturally. So we are Nigerians. We are all one. As it is, you have we your papa. Uh, you know, and then again, speaking about the books and the serious. books that literally need to be translated, now there are a lot of storybooks in local languages. There are Barbie dolls that now look like Igbo girls, Yoruba girls, Hausa girls, it's grand. and other Edo girls. No, and all of that. So I believe it's eventually getting to that point. Really? We must start from somewhere. If we keep on killing these kind of ideas, we, will, we are not going to We'll keep on admiring Mandarin of. and Mandarin. It's not a case of all you. But it's so definitely not. Said, as a country, uh -huh. they speak one thing, and it's everywhere. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Italians yeah. have one language. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is where it can't work here. That is mm -hmm. why That's can't why work. I'm saying it's so from many that But it's got to be from other languages You're as well. Right all right, right now. Now. All right, my biggest sister, my adult sister, my... Kaiser. I'm in Nigeria, My Japanese brother. Oh, yeah, let's speak Pidgin English. Konnichiwa. Pidgin English is one accepted in Nigeria. What do you think? Yeah, what do you think? You're the most important person. Welcome to Nigeria TVC. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. We'll come back to this, please. We want to know. Japan. Hey, come on, let's go. Play it. All right, say hey, come on. It's uh, the beautiful game. That's what it is now. The beautiful game. Come on, man. Ah, I've spoken about the controversy. It's spoken about all um, the talk. 
I've spoken about all, uh, you know, uh, all that was there when it came to preparation for Qatar 2022. But then, I always mention, and of course FIFA always reiterated, that once the tournament starts, we would all focus on football, and that is what the tournament has all been about. Beautiful football. Qatar 2022 has been nothing short of a wonderful masterpiece. Today, we'll bring the end of the group phase. Of course, that will be later on. We have four matches to go today to round up the group phase. But then, the boys are being separated from the men. The men, of course, are getting into uh, where the round of 16. And, of course, the some people are among the boys. And my, oh, my, it was shocking. By the way, big shout out to Japan. Oh, I love Japan. I love you guys, man. I, I, you know, I'd spoken about this on our show, The Beautiful Game, where I spoke about what the Japanese say, that the Japanese don't leave rubbish behind. What an attitude. Lovely, lovely people. And, well, they showed it again. Japan, in one group, beat Spain and Germany by the same scoreline after considering first. That is a whole lot. Well, four-time winners, Germany, are out of Qatar 2022 in a shock repeat of the Diamond Shafts. Poor performance in what is a repeat of a disappointing campaign at Russia 2018. Well, we'll talk about that. I'll talk about more, but you can call in and be a part of the show. The number, of course, will scroll across your screen. Call in and let us know. Let me hear your thoughts on uh, the beautiful Japanese and all that happened yesterday. At one point, Spain and Japan and Germany were out of the World Cup. Costa Rica were leading 2-1 against Germany and Japan were leading 2-1 against Spain. At that moment, Sp uh, Spain and Germany were out. Japan and Costa Rica were going to qualify. Wow, what a walk, what, what, what a ton of events that would have been. But, as it were, Germany got in Kai Havertz. He won't score in Chelsea where he's needed to score. It's when they come to World Cup. Well, because what, the goal you scored, well, you didn't use it again. You didn't go anywhere with it. So what's the point? What's the point? You should have just kept those goals and go and score it in Chelsea where it is needed. We'll go to Chelsea now and they'll be shooting over. We'll be shooting over. But hey, come on. Uh, that was how it happened, and Spain qualified. Japan topped that group. Like, can you believe it? Japan topped the group that had Spain and Germany. The same way Morocco topped the group that has Croatia and Belgium. Like, it, it, it's, it's, it, coming to think about it, coming to think about it is, is, is really off, uh, you know. Let, let's, let's speak to Damola. Hello, Damola. Good morning. Sorry, Mr. Mike. How you doing, Damola? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And you? I am great. Talk to me, man. What are your thoughts on the uh, World Cup so far? Uh, I was I, I was actually shocked with the match uh, between um, them, Spain and Japan. I was shocked because I, I, I was expecting more from, from Spain. <sighs> and around the world, Japan shot them. I tell you that Japan could pull that off hmm. with Spain. So I was just shocked. That was the match that I actually shot me. I'm the telling rain. you. I was even well. Albert, as he got his goal, he actually deserved in, uh, in Chelsea. But he actually got that when he actually played the World Cup. But to me, it, it, it is still a waste, a good waste. So and, and I don't know your thoughts on that, Mike. Mm. You were all of us. I was also extremely shocked, considering that Spain even scored first. And th th it was the same thing that happened with Germany. So kudos to the Japanese. Are you enjoying the World Cup so far? Is this what, it, does this make it interesting or more exciting for you? Okay, Damala, uh, I think we lost you there, but hey, come on. Um, if you also want to contribute your thoughts, just let us know. Uh, so, hey, we're going to look at all that group, uh, all of that together, right? Of course, we're going to talk about Morocco. Morocco? You see, something quite interesting is that Morocco and Nigeria are the only two African countries that have ever topped a group in the World Cup, right? Morocco, of course... Uh, they did it in, I think it was 1978, I'm not very sure of the year, but they've done it before. Now, Nigeria did it in USA 94 and France 98. We topped the group in both occasions. And now Morocco has done it. So, two Africans have done it, are, are, are now the ones who have done it, Morocco and Nigeria. And it was a great one for Morocco. I mean, considering that they went up against Canada, Morocco had not been scored against in open play. The goal that they considered against Canada was an own goal. So let's just take it that they've not scored them on that particular level. So kudos to Morocco. Morocco topped the group that has Croatia and Belgium. Croatia and Belgium, of course, are with two of the semi-finalists in Qatar 20, in, in Russia 2018. Think about it. Belgium are ranked second by FIFA. Croatia are ranked 12th by FIFA. So think about it. And they top that group. That is what the World Cup is all about. We love the surprises. We love the drama. We love the suspense. 
We love the unpredictability. Now, that is all that the World Cup will give you. You understand? Some people will call it um, a stroke of serendipity, whatever you want to call it. But what we know is that we love the story of the underdog, and that is the story of Japan. I mean, Japan would lose and still clean the stadium. They would still clean their dressing room. It, it, it blows my mind because that is something that is one of the hardest things to do. I mean, even when you use stuff, cleaning up after you use is not so easy. But then how do you clean up after somebody else? Look at them, of course, on top. Japan, of course, six points. Spain, four points. Germany, four. Costa Rica, three. How did it happen? How did it happen? This is testament to what it means to have uh, an, an amiable character. And I must say that for this one, I am so, so pleased with Japanese. And that's why I'm repping them all the way today. Peter is on the line. Hello, Peter. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Peter? Fine. All right, talk to me. Yes, I want to talk about the Daily Mass. Yeah, talk to me. What are your thoughts? Yeah, hello, uh, Paul. Hello, Peter. Yes, hello, uh, Paul. Uh, uh, I'm in VHD. Hmm. What are your thoughts? I watched the Daily Mass. It was very good. It was, you, you enjoyed it. Has Walk Up lived up to expectations so far? Okay, sorry about that. We're unable to uh, get Peter there, but I know he was talking about uh, the games yesterday, which were quite interesting. You know, after um, Spain and Germany had scored their first goals, I felt like it was done and dusted. You know, a it, it was a foregone conclusion. That was what I thought. But by the drama in both games last night was something. I'm looking forward to today, today's games, by the way. Uruguay versus Ghana. Ah, oh, Ghana should be the third country. Now I know they are our brothers. Big shout out to you, Charlie. We love you. We want you to go out there and beat Uruguay. A draw, a draw would be enough for, for Ghana to qualify, but they shouldn't go out for a draw. They should go out for a win. Now, there's been talk about Luis Suarez, Samu Aguian, and that infamous uh, handball and penalty, of course, um, which, uh, remember that match, Ghana versus Uruguay, where Ghana, of course, could have gone in to uh, the, 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 the quarterfinals, but then that, that uh, infamous handball, well, as it happens, Ghana will be going for revenge, as they say. But then I would say that forget revenge, just go out there, get the job done. Uruguay are at their weakest that they have been in a while. And I would say that kudos to Ghana. They will be, I, hopefully, by the end of the day, we'll have three teams in the second round. Is, is that the first time? I, I don't know if it has ever happened before. We have three African teams in the second round, in the round of 16 at the World Cup. So this one will be quite a good one. South Korea will take on Portugal, of course. Uh, at the same time with Ghana versus Uruguay. And then Serbia will take on Switzerland. Now, that is quite another one. Cameroon will now take on Brazil. The only way for Cameroon to qualify is to beat Brazil. Hmm. That's a big ask. How do they do it? They're Brazil, of course, the most iconic team that comes to the World Cup and all of that. So, kudos, of course, to uh, Cameroon. Cameroon, of course, remember that three-all draw against Serbia? That was quite wonderful. Vincent... Abubakar with a wonderful performance there in that match. He was the one that came in to change that match. There's quite a lot when it comes to the Cameroonian team. Of course, I'm looking at um, Chipo Muting uh, right there and Guisa. Wonderful performance there from those guys, putting all their best. There was, of course, the controversy surrounding uh, Onana and the Onana, the keeper for Cameroon, of course, who has left camp and there have been different versions of what happened. There's been talk about him disrespecting the coach. There's been talk about him not wanting to play to the coach's instructions. And then there's also been talk about him disrespecting the uh, the president of FECA Foot, that's the president of the Cameroonian Football Association, in the person of Samuel Eto Peace. Well, he was said to have intervened in the situation and Andre Onana didn't, um, Onana didn't uh, you know, stand back. And so he had to leave the team when it comes to discipline. Well, there's quite a lot about that we don't know. Onana also dropped a statement. We are looking at, uh, maybe at the end of the World Cup, he might tell us exactly what happened. But we know that, well, they were able to surpass that against Serbia, but I know it is going to be a big ask to beat Brazil, man. Ah, you know, go easy, you know, go easy. But they are Africans. Cameroon, of course, our brothers, well, were wishing them the best. They go out there and uh, fight like the indomitable lions that you are. Well, um, quite a whole lot, of course, will be happening. Some fixtures have already been confirmed. Senegal will play England on Saturday. That's a big one. <laughs> wow. I wish Sadio Mane was here. I mean, the Senegalese team have done quite well. But as it stands, I 
think um, that when it comes to the attacking potential or the attacking threat of that team, they really do have um, quite a lot that they, they've left to be desired. And someone like Sadio Mane at this point, yes, they have done well without him, no doubt. I'm not trying to say that the team, are, the team is an excellent team. They've tried, they've done well, they've gone into the second round. But I wish he was there. He would have given that team the extra edge. But they'll be up against England. They'll be up against the three Lions of England. And, uh, well, for that match, look, we'll be supporting Senegal and they can do it. Look, England is a very talented team. They have the players. They have the individuals. They are playing in one of the best leagues in the world, which is the EPL. But I would say that the person that is holding England back has to be Gareth Southgate. I know a number of us might be divided when it comes to that particular opinion or that particular take. But, well, I think it is what it is. Gareth Southgate has been holding back that team. I mean, England can be frustrating. I mean, you mean win one, one match with six goals and the next match goalless, you see? And, well, it, 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 the, the, the talent that you have on the bench, I mean, we had Foden coming for the third match, uh, Phil, Phil Foden, of course, uh, Saka and um, Sterling were the preferred wingers that he started to use, of course, on the back of Kane, who, who is basically a number 10 now. I feel like Kane is now a false nine. He doesn't have to score the goals but he has been quite instrumental to England's progress so far in the competition. So for that one, I would say kudos. And uh, well, in whatever way, he's using him and it works for him. In uh, some of the other second round uh, fixtures also, Argentina uh, will be taking on um, Argentina will be taking on Switzerland. I would, I would confirm that, of course, for you. Uh, Poland also, they qualified, of course, Robert Lewandowski. Now that is also a big one for those teams. When you look at a case of... A, 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 Lewandowski, who doesn't have as much cover with him. I mean, when you look at him in Barcelona and Bayern, so many people be behind him. But then you look back and then you see that, hey, come on, you don't have so much of that kind of firepower when you come to the national team. You have to carry the team so much. Um, there was quite some nail-biting moments there, but they were able to secure and move on to the second round. So kudos. We'll be talking about much more of this. Now, we have a beautiful show. It's called The Beautiful Game. It's on Saturday by 10 a.m. 10 a.m. on Saturday, you can watch it on TVC, Go TV Channel 27. 27. Um, uh, it's going to be on the Ultra High Frequency, that's the Terrestrial Band, Channel 49. And then you can also view it on our website, tvcentertainment.tv, and then on our app, TVC app. You can watch the beautiful game. It's from 10 to 11. We'll be talking about the World Cup. We would have your takes. You'd have more time to talk about it, more time to involve you, more time, of course, to be a part of it. The beautiful game, Saturday. 10 a.m. It's just tomorrow. We are going to have a wonderful time. That's all that we can take, of course, on the big game this morning. Hey, come on. It's the World Cup. Let's go out there, enjoy the final round of matches for the first round today. And tomorrow, the second round will kick off. We'll take a time out now. Don't go nowhere. There's still quite a lot more to come on the show. Excellent morning to you once again as we take off in the second hour of the show. Yes, indeed. An hour gone for hey, still an hour to go. As we take <laughs> off into the weekend, by the way, welcome to once again, Rain or Shine, <laughs> the best breakfast show on Nigerian TV. Tell them. We do our very best to bring you guys fresh editions every single day, nothing repeated. Well, sometimes we bring the very exciting guests back. But <laughs> apart from that, it's all great new stuff. Definitely. And of course, as the year winds down, let us not just focus on what we couldn't do, but then again, shine a spotlight on what we did do. Yeah, great motivation for a Friday. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is a reason why we love mornings on the show here, and it's because as yet, the day is only just filled with possibilities. So hey, that's the way you should take a look at it. You will get them done. You definitely will. You will get them you done. You definitely will. And of course, we have this moment, this time. So take this moment, take this time, right now, right now. Take a breath, take a breath, take a breath. Let it go. Yes, just take it one step at a time. I like that you're, you know, growing into that cheese that I anticipate always. Yeah, <laughs> not enjoying it though. <laughs> in any case, it is Wake Up Nigeria. Let's do this one more time for the next 45 minutes. Somewhere in there is going to be the games. My name is Mazino Appeal. My name is Winfrey Agbaneshe. Do make sure you stream the show live at TVC Entertainment TV and on Facebook at TVC Connect. And send in your comments to us at TVC Connect using the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. Yes, you can also see us on Go TV Channel 27 and UHF 49. Download the app it's on ios and google play so it's that easy now let's let you guys know what's coming up this hour yeah. <laughs> so we're having ebro cheesy a singer songwriter video editor colorist and a multi the world is multi mazino <laughs> instrumentalist <laughs> <laughs> whose oh, blend and style of music is completely different right so he's going to be here singing to us later on
course, we mentioned it in the previous hour, but this hour it is going to be a fantastic uh, kitchen session because we have Beyonce and a father boy in there with MM. Hey, how's it going already, MM? Oh, we are about to have a feast when you have two cooking legends <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, this place is about to be lit, literally, guys. Yes, we have Beyonce and we have a father boy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so good to have you both here. And yes, Beyonce, we have missed you. <laughs> right. He is, so um, this fusion, uh, this marriage is about to happen right now. It's about to produce uh, jambalaya magic. rice. Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Turtle yes. magic. It's like magic. 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 Of course. Oh. Uh, ah. Jambalaya. <laughs> that means enjoyment. <laughs> hey. I told you that's about to be lit. So quickly, <laughs> let's run through the ingredients for this recipe. <laughs> Okay, um, so basically, of course, we're parboiling our father rice. Um, it's your father rice that we'll be using for the recipe. Of course, it has to be your father rice. Are you kidding? Why are you laying Why do we have a father rice? boy here Why are you without the father rice? Like it's a big deal. You know, um, so uh, we're making use of shrimp, some chicken, um, bell peppers, um, celery, carrots, sausages, and seasoning with a mix of, a pepper mix of... Um, um, garlic, ginger, and some scotch bonnet. Okay, so there's so much going on here in the kitchen, yeah. but we'll get right to it <laughs> later on. Emma, <laughs> uh, that kitchen today, I'm sure it's going to be buzzing. What am going to for you? <laughs> Tell you guys what, let's do the wedding. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, nice one. There is no Ofada, with, Ofada rice without Ofada boy, and there's no Ofada boy without Ofada rice. That's so true. yes, we'll get right into your events later yeah. on, but okay. quickly, uh, Beyonce, you want to tell us what's going on? Oh, yeah. Right now? Um, so, um, we're already parboiling the rice, I mean, because we're talking a lot. Ofada <laughs> rice. <laughs> the Ofada rice? Yeah. Or, you know? <laughs> Can this be the last time you make that mistake? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Um, so what we are doing is searing the chicken breast. Okay. And we're going to cook some of the prawns. So we are not cooking it entirely. We just want to give them some caramelization and we take them out. Okay. Then we'll come back to it where, where we begin to make the rice. It's a one pot dish. Mm. So everything goes, goes into, into one yes. pot. Right. And what do we have in the chicken over there? Um, so the chicken is just seasoned. Salt, okay. black pepper, Cajun. So Cajun is predominantly used when making Mexican a jambalaya. Dishes. Jambalaya is a Mexican dish. Is it a Mexican dish? Um, uh, it's not. A, it's not. A, is it? Is it jambalaya or, or jambalaya? Jambalaya. Yeah, we need. Right. Right. So now we are fusing it. Yeah. <laughs> it's more of a fusion, right? Thanks yeah. for the correction. Yeah. Fusion, you know? Jambalaya. It's a blend. It's a, it's a balance, creating a balance in between. Of local and continental yeah, dish, exactly. but hey, That's it's a one pot dish. Now tell us about the events coming up this weekend. Okay, so it's the fourth edition of the Father Rice Ooh. Day Festival. Has uh, it been so far, though? Ah, you know, First, second, uh, fourth, fourth. It's, wow. been, it's been a lot of work, but I think um, the message is gradually being passed. Okay. You know, we're trying to change your Father Rice narrative. We're trying mm. to pe make people see the healthy side of life. We're mm. trying to make people understand that we're not just selling the rice. We're selling mm. good health. Mm. We're selling, you know, we're selling nutrients. We're selling a lot of things that has to do with that our Father Rice has to offer. So our what should people like me who's going to be there look forward to? You'll you, you be having this. You'll be having... Okay, so the, there's going to be a fusion. Okay. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to create our own indigenous meal and make it, you know, look presentable to the contemporary society. Okay. We're, we're trying to make people understand that you don't necessarily have to eat a father rice with a mm. sauce. There'll be a jollof or father, fried or father, oriental or father, Chinese or father. We'll be nice. creating a father rice in different ways for people to have to enjoy. So, you know, it's going to be, it's just going to be um, a lot happening. Yeah, yeah a festival lot. <laughs> of, festival. of Father There's going to be music. There's going to be a oh, lot of Father it. Rice sellers. And one of the highlights of the day is Please the fact us. that um, we'll be bringing some women, some women that have been selling of Father Rice for generations, wow. that have sold of Father Rice from one generation to passed to another. Next. So we'll be bringing them from different mm. nooks and crannies of, nice. of Nigeria. So there'll be some of the celebrities of the day, highlights of the day. You want to tell they'll, us? They'll be selling food. They'll be, you know, tell, telling us their story, okay. how they started. Some of them have children that are pilots. Oh, some nice. of them have children that are, you know, doctors. So when is this uh, event taking place? 
Um, it's, it's happening on Sunday, the 4th of December. Where? Um, at Murio Kuala Park. Murio Kuala Park. Yes, it's happening on Sunday. And we Sunday. should expect everything. No, no, it's themed, it's themed Faji experience. Ooh, Faji. So, you know, and you must have a touch of Ashoke. You know, really? The, yes, Ashoke ah. has to be in the blend. You oh, know. wow. You because, me down. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, you know, the fact that, you know, um, um, fashion is fashion is fantastic, mm. but you know you can't wear you can't dress so well mm. if you're hungry. Mm. You know something has to sustain you exactly. to keep the look. It has to inspire <laughs> that you know. So you know uh, your come style. looking good and you know mm. we'll sustain the tummy and make I, I, everything. I, 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 Fantastic, you know, fantastic. You nice. Know, so I'm so. looking forward to it already. You, it looks you. like it's going to be exciting. So mm. now, Beyonce, <laughs> you are yeah. taking out the chicken from the pot. Yes. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing it's ready. Yeah, yeah kind okay. of. I mean, I'm, I'm, it's like I said, yes, 80%. percent <laughs> Like I said, I'm not entirely cooking it. Okay. I just want it um, a little cooked okay. because everything still goes into the pot. Okay. So the next thing I want to cook is... Sausages, mm. then the shrimps. Okay. I know if you're wondering what's going on, why do we have me on and then why do we have the father boy? <laughs> right. That's because uh, you guys want to tell them or should I tell them? But hey, I'll just allow you guys to tell them. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's the Father Rise Day week. Um, and this is leading to the Father Rise Day festival. Mm. And there's no other way to, you know, to tell the world about Father Rise if mm. not practically prepared in front of the world. Right. And that's what we're doing. And, mm. you know, we've tried to create something different from the usual, mm. using your wonder in the mouth. And when I say wonder in the mouth, I mean of father rice. Yeah. <laughs> when I say healthy food, I mean of father rice. When mm. I say good like long life because mm. you know it gives longevity yeah. that's what yeah. father rice is about and of course um beyonce is also going to be there <laughs> yeah it's going yeah. to be running it's going to be running the master, master class, class. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, tell us about that beyonce <laughs> okay so i'm going to be reinventing of father rice i trust now, you now it's going to be of father rice <laughs> okay before you go on eh, before you go on i think you made the best decision having me on say I'm I don't mean to you know what yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like yeah make, I don't I don't mean to do that not because it's my friend I promise you so when it comes to infusing local dish yeah. with um continental in a very continental and you know exquisite way yeah, oh yeah. my wow yeah, is, is have you had me on says asaru his interpretation of food is, is beautiful is, uh, top notch is excellent and you know that's that's one thing about food. Food is not just preparing it; it's the creativity that yeah. comes with it. You know, everybody cooks in a particular type of mm. way, but Beyonce mm. tries to tweak yeah. and just you know, reinvent. I twist and, you know, it. Hey, see, his head is so, actually. Well, yeah, I know. I know. Let's let's calm <laughs> down. Well, have no and say. let's hold that back. Have no say. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Beyonce is getting hard at work here, trying to make sure that our jambalaya meal comes right together. Um, in a bit, as you can see, things are getting really, really, really. Um, um, ready here in the kitchen yep. it will be done in a bit but hey we have to go on a quick break now people wake up nigeria continues in a bit stay with us all right yes there you have it. it's going to be raining of father rice literally this <laughs> weekend all over lagos right all over and the world all over the world guys <laughs> you heard it you heard it <laughs> Yes, all over the world is going to be raining of other rice this weekend. And of course, Ofada Boy and Mion Sister here with us in the kitchen, here in the studio, live people. And we are making, Beyonce calls it Jamalaya. <laughs> uh, Father Boy calls it Jamalaya. <laughs> yes, <laughs> when you say it, you got to feel it, right? <laughs> so quickly, let's run through the ingredients and then let's get to where we are. Beyonce? Okay, so um, we've... Uh, we're making use of a father rice mm. and um, what we, how we started this is we sauteed a bit of onions, garlic, ginger and chilies mm -hmm. and what I've added into is basil, oregano, um, some thyme, um, Italian seasoning mm. and um, of course I'll be adding some Cajun to it. Okay. Um, what does Cajun do for this? Um, Cajun is, is just what's... Um, Bleach Pamo does to Ayamashi. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. It just it, it brings out the 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 the, the taste. Yes. Yeah, he, you know, and it, it, it together. enhances yeah. 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 something like that. Okay, yeah. great. So um this is here, we need a bit of salt and black pepper. Mm, that looks good. So in the what do we have in the pot? So in here we have onions, mm -hmm. garlic, celery, chilies, ginger, and that's all. Yeah, I see carrots. 
carrots, carrots. Yes, carrots. Yeah. Well. And uh, of course, we still have our green and yellow, bell, bell, red bell, bell peppers. Those will go in last, you okay. know. Uh, okay. They will go in last. Yeah, let's, so let's talk about our proteins over there. Oh, yeah, so we have chicken, sausages, and shrimps. Mm. All of it going in here. It's a one pot deliciousness. We told you guys mm. that <laughs> we are about to hit you. Uh, they, they, Guess you didn't see it they, coming, they, they, they right? <laughs> this is an Ofada Faji experience. <laughs> That's what I'm going to call it, right? That's what I'm exactly, going to call it. Exactly. Because this looks good. And Yonsei always puts his heart into whatever he makes. I mean, look at the love oozing out of that pot, literally. <laughs> <laughs> I can feel it. I can feel it. So, yes, Ofada experience is coming up. Is, is happening this weekend on... Yes. Uh, 4th of, of December. December. Yes. So now let's talk. Can I ask him a question? Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, what's your favorite part in in on on in the festival? Of, in the festival, because I mean, you're organizing it. Um, there are a lot of things happening. Yes, happening. You know, and you, I'm sure you would be looking forward to what something. Thing. Um, and and honestly, um, what what truly um inspires me and you know what i look forward to is seeing the millennials mm. eat of other rice Ooh, you know okay. um i know i know a lot of people think of other rice is for the older generation mm. you know it's beginning to wear out mm. but when i see the young ones coming in and you know raving you know buying of other rice mm. eating and you with know so much eating joy. with so much excitement mm. then I, I i have that feeling and you know it just brings that hope mm. back that you know we still have the the um, the touch and you know, we still have the fire mm. so we just need to keep on igniting keep it yeah. and you know um, everything will just come come in place all right yeah. so Mion says you're pouring in the rice yes, into the sauce yes so is that rice per boiled is yes, it it's soft per boiled. is it properly so cooked normally you, you shouldn't be per boiling this but okay because of time mm. we per boiled it it's, remember, it's a one-pot dish. Mm. Everything is just supposed to cook Go in. together. Yeah. You know. So you know what I'm curious, Mion? So you yeah. know, um, a lot of people actually avoid... I'm also going... This question also goes to you, Ofada yeah. Boy. A lot of people actually avoid Ofada rice because of the stones and the sand in it because a lot of people do not know how to properly wash. And the smell. You've, and the smell. Yes. And a lot, a lot of people don't know how to properly wash it or, you know, and, you know, keep it, you know, healthy and good for... I know even with the sand and the stone, it's still healthy, like 100%. <laughs> but, hey, you know, you want to take us through, you know, some hack that with you... The, with the sand and the stone, it can't be healthy. Okay. It can't be healthy because those are harmful... Harmful, yeah. Um, ...stuffs in the food. And that's that's one of the reasons why we're having the, this festival. festival. Because oh, oh, Father Rice has, has been stigmatized, you know. Mm. It's been given this kind of... Um, face as a local rice. Don't forget, basmati rice that we see as mm. something international here mm. or something continental mm. is, is a local meal somewhere, somewhere in the world. Uh, yes. You understand where yes. it's been grown, you know, mm -hmm. they see it as their mm -hmm. own mm -hmm. or father yeah. rice. So, you know, um, if we don't popularize it, if we don't rebrand it, what we're trying to do is to rebrand or father rebrand rice. Rebrand or father rice. And, you know, a lot, of, a lot of the stone, the sand, you know, it's just some... Yeah, but they add to uh, the nutritional benefits. No, 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 they don't add it. <laughs> That's they what they add. say. You know, it's just, it's just, you know, it's just some lackadaisical like attitude and some yeah. equipment that the farmers do not so, have. Okay. You know. Yeah, so um, our rice is getting ready. Jambalaya rice is going to be ready in a bit. Meyonce doing great work, great work, people. Um, so, yes, we are about to serve you our <laughs> Faji special in a bit. But, people, the Cup Nigeria continues to not go anywhere. Do not go. And you are welcome to the Ofada edition for Wake Up Nigeria. Yeah, everybody's like, why did he say that? Yeah, I'm joking. It's just, nobody thought. Every, nobody, everybody. Every man of people want to take over the show with the Ofada, Ofada, Ofada. It's a lie. Nobody but thought. Case, it's time for the games. And it's been a long time. We haven't actually had a very, very fun game like the one we're about to play today. Everybody must have their phones with them today. So okay. please bring your phone. Don't sanitize it. Don't run through it. Any. Don't okay. be very bold. Don't worry. I won't be asking for your nudes or anything. <clears throat> you, want, you want your phone? Don't worry, don't worry. Today's game is called What's in Your Phone? We've played it before. Now we're going to play it again. Only this time it's going to be much more exciting. I'm going to add myself to the game. Yeah, just for I've not sanitized my phone, not taken anything out. Oh, ben, yeah, do, 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 I have do, 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 your do. names here and I'm going to be giving scores, special scores. This is how... Liar, I'm, liar, not, I'm serious, I'm not lying. Buyer. I'm not lying. My phone is, is as vulgar as it ought to be. <laughs> In any case, here we go. I'm going to be asking you guys questions. You guys are going to display. Just, just show me and verify, okay? okay? Okay, Now, I'm going to give you each 10 points. If your phone battery is up to 90%. Yes, it is. 
I have, I have, I have 75 percent. What do you have? <laughs> Fire, what do you have, Winfrey? I'm checking now. <laughs> Just slide to the other side, iOS. 79. 70 70%. Mike, what do you 97. have? 97. <laughs> do you follow the whole thing? <laughs> You want what? 37? 79, 79. 79. So nobody gets it. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, it's not a start. You start it. No? She, she doesn't start it. Uh, what about I don't like this. No, 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 no. no, no. You didn't tell us this thing. Since... No, that's the point. You're not supposed to know. No, no, no. Yours but... is not 90% now. What's that? It's 87%. It's seven, just three now. Not she. He knows. Look, my phone Mine is the best phone seven. yet. See, the phone. What? But... 97. The lie. Let me see. See now. My God, do that. It's not 97. Ah, uh, 97. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Let me see. 97. 97. 97. Let me see now. Uh, uh, tell you something. 97. See this guy. It's not 97. <laughs> uh -huh. What are you looking for again? You are 97%, <laughs> but not the 97% we're looking for. Wow. All right, I'm going to give you five points if your battery is over 50%. It is. Yours is over 50%. What's 79, yours? 79. Uh, What's yours? The phone now. Come in now. Come in now. The phone now. I don't know what's wrong with mine. My phone. My phone is over 50%. His mouth is over. No. Right. So, it's over. Ah, ah, this girl was cut out here. Relax, relax. No, ah. I get five points. Winfrey, you get five points. You, you get Mike. five points. Wait, Mike. Wait, 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 wait. What's, what, what's the question? If your phone is over but the phone is 50%, off. your phone is off. It's coming on. I should, I, I I don't, I should subtract <laughs> points from you. Ah. It gets more excited. We'll not take it. It gets more excited. He put it on. It gets more excited. Wait. Two points. Six, 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 oh, yeah, it's 65 now. Ah. Two points. <laughs> two, <laughs> I will not give you. In two minutes. This is for you. <laughs> this, this ah. for you. Only two points if your battery is above 25%, obviously. What? So what we all it? get two points. It's still not you. She now. This is not 65. I don't agree. Oh, this yeah, this result is not wait, real. Wait, wait, wait. Give Mike his 5%. MM, wait three, Mike. I give you guys 10 points if you have a picture of your parents in your phone. Picture yeah. of your parents on my phone? Yes. Like library and all of that? Yeah. Of a course. picture of your parents. I have that one. I do now. Why Let's not? see it. Let's see it. It's just far. MM, now do you have... No, I don't. MM doesn't have it. MM's phone is, is like blank. <laughs> There's never anything inside. Anybody? Anybody? 10 I points? Have, I have, I have, I have. 10 points. You don't have but you're not giving me. Give, no. Put down my first my, point. Five, five, five points back. Too much. If not, the phone I've gone off. You don't off, have. I'll not <laughs> take it. I will not take it in this place. I just switched phones, so I don't have. Mommy, we'll daddy, I'm sorry. Mommy, we'll daddy, I'm sorry. We'll not take it. We'll not take it. Wait, I do now. What? Ah, come on, come Show on, mate. now. Ah, what's your problem? Who's who's joining our network? Mike, do you have? Oh, yeah, growing, put it, put it, put it, put it growing, there. Come no, no, no. Put growing, it there so that I will show you. I have now. Time, time, Stand time. Calm down, don't rush. Uh, let me check. It's not library. I'm um, wait now. Uh, this uh, is my mom. My mom is there. Okay. That's on your status. No, no, no. Status, no, no, no. Are you okay? Not on phone. Are you cool? a WhatsApp status, Mike. <laughs> That's the best thing. My mom is on my WhatsApp status. <laughs> that's actually, yeah, that's solid. I love you, mommy. What? Oh, from, no, is, no, it, no. is it from your phone you come to WhatsApp status? No, 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 no. She's not on his no, WhatsApp status. She's not actually. on your phone. He screenshots the WhatsApp status. His <laughs> sister posted it nobody, on his WhatsApp nobody, status. Nobody, nobody. I do, I do now. Oh, but, oh, but you will not. You, 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 Mike. Don't Mike. <laughs> nobody. Time I do, I do, I do. All right, see, listen, listen. But I'm still scrolling. It's far. 20 points, guys. You don't spoil this game. 20 points. 20 points. Well, if that far if you let us read the I fourth... Want videos. Listen, 20 points if you let us it's read the good. fourth message on your WhatsApp page. Fourth message. Fourth message. Anybody. Anybody. Oh, yeah, now. Okay. Anybody. Fourth... No, 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 no. I'll see your... all the names. Okay. The... Oh, yeah. From the names. Oh, yeah, now. Huh? You I don't even... But, this game, uh, because of... You Rachel gave me 10 points. Isaac, congratulations. You keep shattering those glass. Nice girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay, and uh, this is uh, Revs and Run with. Reading the whole message of Good morning, Thank everyone. Please Thank you. note, dress rehearsal has been scheduled for Sunday, 4th of December, 2022. Yes. Then you get that in at 6 at Viola Mogo to go 10 a.m. Yes. Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mike. Mike, okay. Mike. Mine. <laughs> Mine. Shall I give him? <laughs> Mine, fourth message. <laughs> Fourth message, yeah, please read fourth message. Fourth message fourth, to the fourth person there. You can't leave that one. Me. You put the game together. I know now. Hey, hey, what are you doing? The fourth what you... message to you, not fourth message to me. So, so what can you do now? Are you getting this? <laughs> what do you want to read? I don't like, I don't like this thing. Fourth message. The game, oh, Jordan, my mother and my father are I'm here. I read. got on the first one. You part, I don't like both kind of things. 20, my dad's in... 20, 20, Mike gets nothing again. He gets more <laughs> Off this TV now, nah, this screen. <laughs> 20 points if you have a message sent to anyone saying, I love you. Mm. <laughs> Mike, I'm hoping that you have. I love you, MM. MM, open now. MM. I don't have now. MM, how can I'm you not? Gone. I love you. 
Winfried's love of my life. I love you. No, Winfried. <laughs> Wait, now see plenty. They love me. Plenty. See, see now. See. Plenty. I love you that many. Plenty now. Let, no, I, no, no. Plenty. See, 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 see. I love you that many. It's strong. You have seen it, Abby? Once again. See now, he plenty. With emojis. I have. With emojis. I, I, I love you. I love you. Oh, this game. See. My sister is using this game to my toast here the bike. Is there a <laughs> Wait, no, it's there, it's there, it's there. No, I honestly have. But I can't find it now. Yeah, so I, won't, now. I won't give myself. I won't give myself. <laughs> but Winfrey, you get 20. MM, you don't Yay. get. In fact, no, no, only Winfrey gets. What are you going to say? Marriage is still shocking. Come on, come on. Yes, shocking. This guy, I don't... Actually, you leave it like First that. First of all, my... My, my, you know, my phone is 64 percent. So if this thing, I have my mom and my dad. So forget my, all these calls you are seeing from. I have video, mommy and daddy. Now, don't mind him. I will Ojodo. give you 30 points <laughs> if you have a picture of Mike in your phone. I have a picture of Mike on my phone. What would they have? Because Everybody would have. Work, they work with you. What would they have? Ah, uh, no, I have a picture of you now. <laughs> Let me. Hey, man. What are you saying? Go <laughs> Why would, would you have? Why, why you see the person your, every day? Why would you have your a person's picture? Your best friend, Jesus. I have a picture now. of Mike. I, 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 <laughs> no, I have a picture of Mike in the other phone. Okay, now for me, I have a picture many, of all of you. So I get messages? 90 points. Wait, do you have any? Do you have any? Mike, Mike, Mike. I have a picture, picture of Mike, Mike. now. Me, I, I don't have a picture of myself. So why do you have a picture content. of me? This is fun. I will just stop this thing. Uh, Okay. Mike, you know I have a picture. I don't have a picture. Yeah, I'm definitely doing it. I know you have. Wait, wait, wait. I know you do. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's not me. That's not me. That is that is Mazino Winfrey and Mike. Show it to the camera. Mazino, Show it to the camera. Yeah. Nobody. I have. No, uh, yeah, look at it now. Look at me. This is me, not a picture Mike of me. And <laughs> <laughs> that is a picture of a group. <laughs> okay. For a hundred <coughs> points, guys. For <coughs> one hundred <coughs> points. But I have. I'll put my score there. Ladies and gentlemen, Don't mind you. we have very many people who help us out every single day here, just uh -huh. before the start of Wake Up Nigeria, while it's going on and after Wake Up Nigeria. Mr. Francis is running like a call. Francis, we don't send you. It's not <laughs> you are talking about. But these people put in everything. They're here early. They they leave late. Ooh. When we have no chance of, no no hope of getting across to the office, we'll call oh, them. God. And they, they're always there. Ladies and gentlemen, or gentlemen, I will give a hundred points. Hey. A hundred points, Mike. This is your chance. Of yeah, everything. yeah. Go, go, go. You, do, you, do, you, do you have a message in your phone to Matthew saying thank you. And I deleted it this morning. <laughs> 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 one hundred points. Matthew show you his phone. Matthew, instead. you know I got you right. Whoa! You know I got you Whoa. right. Matthew, how many thank yous? Count it. Matthew, count it. Oh, oh. Open your phone. <laughs> No, but really, I what? actually have deleted it. No, let's see that. Count okay. Matthew, give what? me your phone. Matthew, let's have Matthew's phone. Open MM's message. Mike, what open up, MM's message. Please, it's offset. Please, Matthew, bring it. Please, it's offset. Matthew, Matthew. Matthew. Bring it. It's upset. Matthew. They say on your Mike. phone, none is mine. No, 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 no. It's upset. I will allow. I will allow. Does she say thank you on that message? I'll give her 100 points. Thank I don't understand. You. Open Mike's message. Open Mike's message. Is it? <laughs> You put, you put. Open my message. You put, you put mad. Matthew. <laughs> what, is there any thank you there? I mean, what does it say? I, I will show you. I, I, I will show you. How many times have I said things? Thanks, my G. Thanks, my G. No, 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 no. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. I'll bear the check. You don't know what you're going to see. See, Michael. 100. See, it's not my G. See, Mike. Matthew, my G. See, Mike. Okay. Ah, no, no, it's gone. I want to see gone. Just add my this to the Silence, silence. What is it? <laughs> he said, I'm just half Mike, you see the back. Half of Mike. You see All right. Mike, that's there. Let's take our score real quick. Uh, this uh, at, the, <laughs> at the end of this all, um, I got 100 and. Sorry, I, got, I, got, I got everything. I got 57. Don't listen to Mazino. This Mazino is a lie. free. You got 147 you guys points. Guys, lie. MM got 127 line. points. Mike, you got 102. Oh, okay, it's a lie. So, this win thing. free. Congratulations. <laughs> You are the winner for today. And congratulations to everybody who sent my, uh, Matthew you. a message. Thank you. Thank Matthew, you. Matthew does a lot for us. Today. Yeah, he does. Don't worry. Matthew will ask you to come and take a bow after. Uh, I message. thought Mike shouldn't, uh, Matthew shouldn't be our guest in the kitchen. Maybe Matthew will be our guest Tasting in the kitchen. Tasting our food, right? Do we agree? Uh, do we yes, agree? we do. Is, is Ma yes, Matthew is, the, is going to be the one who tastes <laughs> our food today. Yeah. Let's take a message from a father boy, and we'll be right back. Woohoo! Oh, yes.
We are back oh. to the kitchen, and of course, Ofada boy, Beyonce, and the rest of the gang, <laughs> including Matthew. Matthew? That's Matthew, well, guys. That's Matthew. This is Matthew, guys. <laughs> yeah. Our, Save me nonsense. Uh, shots, shots. is our <laughs> biggest fan on the show, guys. <laughs> no way. <laughs> no way. <laughs> when, when we feel around here, no one came into my mind. What? Moody yeah. don't run. <laughs> you know, why are you running? All right, so, uh, quickly, we'd like Matthew to taste our Jamwo Laya rice. Mm. Jamwo Laya. Yeah. It smells so, so good. So there's a lot of, a lot of, it, it looks, go ahead and taste it now. And let us know if it, yeah, 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 exactly. Why, why are you using your voice like that for him? As if you're sending him to my, uh, Yes, uh, and then Beyonce, the the other boy, have a hard work. Well done. Beyonce, that, that rice looks good. It actually does. It actually tastes good. Well done. Yo, you have tasted it. You've sampled this. Don't bother your mouth. person. What do you think, Matthew? I'm sure it's grand. Just nod Tell in the streets. Tell us now. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Is he leaving you speechless? <laughs> give us words, Matthew. Give us words. Give us words. Come on. Well done. Okay. Uh, we have to go. Well done. Wishing you all the best, Father Boy, you. on Thank Sunday. Thank you. You can also join the festival mm. um, via the Father Boy page, mm. or Father Rise Day page, and a lot of celebrities too are going to be sharing their yeah. handles. You can follow us on Instagram so that we can yeah. uh, follow the details. Of we'll the be festival. there to support you. Thank you. And because Beyonce is going to be there, we will be there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for, to everyone who's been on the show today. It's been a wonderful, fun Friday. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Everybody say thank you, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. <laughs> thank you, Father Boy. <laughs> thank you, Father Boy. <laughs> 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 See you guys on Monday. Thank you. Yeah.